Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. So before we get started, I just want to, I know, mention that I did do something different to my hair. It looks like a hot mess, but I know when doesn't my hair look like a hot mess? I just put it up like in a braid. I took it down. So, you know, this is like the result of it. It's not done. I think I'm going to do a little bit more like, um, darker ends because I had so much black box dye underneath so when I bleached it it got really warm this is actually toned but as you can see it's still pretty warm so it's not done just ignore the hair for now but um, today's video is a little bit more exciting I'm trying to be a little bit more positive now in my videos I'm actually doing a tutorial with a new palette this is um, the brand is called glow by glory but it's in collaboration with one of my friends she is uh, beauty by Benji on YouTube so I will have her videos or her like channel listed down below and uh, if you guys are interested in the palette it's a such a pretty palette I just want to show you and first of all I mean like can we just admire the packaging I love like just simple packaging like this is like my favorite it is just so me this is like what I gravitate towards and not the crazy elaborate type palette so I love how simple it is but what's inside is magical it's super big pans which is like unheard of so I love that about it I even highlighted with the same shade that is on the center of my lid because they look like they look big enough to kind of highlight like you could highlight with all of those it's like everything just speaks to me in this palette i was instantly gravitated towards like these darker rusty rusty terracotta all those gold tones uh but for today's look i wanted to um focus a little bit more with color so i did go with this shade here which i cannot pronounce i think it's foo few you but um, if you guys want to check out a little bit more of the palette like a little bit more information I'll link a video where she like is talking about her palette so you guys can check that out so I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and um, let me know what you think about my hair if I should just go back to my black hair I am this close into going just back to black but I'm really trying not to because I've had black hair since high school and I want to try something different so so yeah, let me know what you guys think. So let's just go ahead and get started in the tutorial. I'm doing a little bit of my soft matte concealer from NARS. I blend that on my lids. I'm gonna start with my eyes today because I have no clue what I'm going to do on the eyes. So I just wanna be prepared just in case I go pretty heavy. I'm gonna press on a little bit of a, actually I was gonna press on a little bit of translucent powder I'm just gonna go straight in with the palette okay so this is the palette that I'm going to be using uh, the brand is glow by glory but it's in collaboration with beauty by Benji it's actually back here look how pretty she is i'll leave her channel down below if you guys want to check her out but i, I really want to use this shade here for today because um normally you know i'd be going up for like those darker brown colors but i really want to do something a little bit different today um we'll use this one and yeah somehow we'll incorporate some of the other ones so the first thing that I want to do is pick up creme. This one here. I'm picking up creme and I'm just going to start packing this all over my lid. And this helps make all the eyeshadows blend a lot easier. So just make sure that you um, pack some sort of powder on your lid. If you don't have a light powder, like a light skin tone color like this one, just use a translucent powder. That works just as good. Now I'm going to mix a little bit of creme and 45. I want to get a nice like in between transition color, but I want it to be a little bit warm. So that's why I'm mixing those two. And then I'm just going to start packing this shade directly into my crease. I 
I'm taking creme just by itself and I like to use it to just feather out the edges so you get a really clean blended look. Now we can start to pick up this shade here and I'm taking a smaller flat brush because I really want to pack this shade on. So I think what I'm going to do is do like some sort of like a halo type of look. So I will pick up this shade, apply it into the inner corner and outer corners of my eye. Don't worry about trying to blend it for now, you just want to make sure that you're getting the color directly into these areas. I'm gonna pick up a blending brush, pick up a little bit of that same eyeshadow, and now I'm gonna start to buff it out a little bit. I start right at the most intense area, and then I'll start to do little circles and start pushing it into the direction that I want it to go. But also keep in mind that you don't wanna pass that original shadow that you've already placed down as a transition because you still want it to look really smooth. If you lose a little bit of intensity from blending, don't worry about that. You can just add a little bit more. Try to pull the eyeshadow back a little bit just so it gives me more of that like, um, in, for my eye shape, I feel like it just gives me a more flattering look if I push my shadow back a little because my eyes are a little bit more of like downturned a tiny bit. So I like to give my eyes a little bit of a lift. I'm adding a little bit more of that transition color just around the edges so it looks really smooth. But also don't forget the center. So make sure that you're also diffusing the edges of like the very center it looks pretty diffused to me now you have you have that burgundy shade right into the inner and outer corner um, it's really beautifully diffused with the warmer 45 and creme so yeah so now I'm just gonna make sure that this eye looks like this one so I'll be right back all right so this is what I have so far now I can pick up a little bit of glisten like a uh, rose gold shimmer shade so so pretty and then I'm taking a small little brush I'm going to wet my brush first because I'm going to pack this right into the center of my lid but I really need this to pop so make sure that you are wetting your brush oh my god that's so pretty so I'm going right into the very center of my lid. So I'm taking it a little bit higher past my crease. You can even just take your finger and really press the pigment directly onto the lid. Oh my god, so beautiful. I even picked up a little bit more 45 and just using it just around the edges of glisten. I'm going to move on to my complexion before I finish the rest of my eyes. I always like to over hydrate my skin if I know that I'm gonna go a little bit more matte with my complexion. So for today, I'm actually gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet and I'm using the shade Y375. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Maracuja Concealer. This I know will be a little bit too light for me, but we'll just do a little bit, and it is a little bit more hydrating, so it will blend out really good, nicely. This is your time here to like really clean up the eyeshadow if you're seeing um, areas where it's not perfectly straight, you can just go in and strain it down. Okay, so I did my concealer and then I put a little bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder right under my eyes. I want to add a little bit of this new translucent powder, the Laura Mercier Glow. 
the Glow Translucent Powder from Laura Mercier. I'm gonna pick up the brush that comes with it for it. It shouldn't be like a crazy amount of highlight. Um, it's just kind of like a subtle. Um, it's a translucent powder, so try not to get too crazy with this. I do want to add just a tiny bit on my brow bone. Just a little bit softer, not too crazy. So I'll add just a tiny bit there. Going back to my eyes, I'm going to pick up the shade 45. What I'm doing here is just pressing this on. I like to press it on first before I diffuse it. I'm taking the shade Few. Now I'm kind of just tying both outer corners here. I want the this shade to seamlessly blend up. So add the same shade. With a little bit of crime, now I can start to blend this down. With a little bit of glisten, I am going to take a tiny bit and blend this So what I've done is just do a little bit of mascara. I did do a tiny bit of eyeliner just to make my lash line appear a little bit fuller, but it was just with a dark brown pencil just so it doesn't look too harsh. Now I'm going to pop on these little lashes here. They're from Velour. I actually like don't even think they do anything. My lashes are actually a little bit longer than this, but it's okay. They just add a little bit of extra volume. I'm also coming down here and lining my lower lash line. Moving on to my eyebrows. I'm just going to do a little bit because I'm not a huge fan of super full brows, but because this look is pretty heavy, I do need to go a little bit darker. So to make sure that your brows stay looking semi-natural, try to just not do any like horizontal lines. Always do little up and downs, follow the direction of your natural hair growth. And now I will pick up a little bit of Give Me Brow. I'm gonna pick up Tarte uh, Park Avenue Princess. It's kind of like a matte contour shade. I don't like to have such a strong contour, um, so we're gonna just leave it at that. I'm going to go into the, I'm gonna go into my palette and pick up the same shadow that I have in the very center of my lid and now I'm gonna highlight with it. I'm just gonna take a little bit down to the cupid's bow. So for my lips, I'm gonna take Nude Sticks in the shade Terra. This is actually um, like an eyeshadow, but it's a cream eyeshadow, so it's gonna just be very matte lip color for me. It's pretty, it's just a little too nudish, I think, for what I wanted it to be. So let me take a pencil. I'm gonna take a pencil from Makeup Forever and um, I'm just gonna go in and kind of warm it up a little bit. This is 604. I was trying not to bust out gloss balm, but yeah, I need it. My lips look super dry. 
all right so this is the finished look I really hope that you guys enjoyed this so this is the finished look I really hope that you enjoyed this look and um, excited that I added a little bit of color this time I really so far I'm loving loving this palette I will link it down below if you are interested in purchasing it or if you want to check out a beauty by Benji I will have also her channel listed down below and let me know what you guys think about this look so I hope you guys enjoy this video I'll see you guys in my next